Hi, I've been asked how to calculate the geometric mean on the Texas Instrument BA2 Plus calculator. So I've produced this tutorial to demonstrate this. I think for most people using this calculator, it's not just the geometric mean of a series of whole numbers. It's more likely to be the geometric mean of the series of returns. So we'll use an example to help us. Over a five year period, an investment into a Euro Stocks 50 ETF provides the following returns. Year 1, 9%. Year 2, 14%. Year 3, minus 8%. Year 4, 3%. And year 5, 11%. So what is the geometric mean of returns over this period? Firstly, we need to take each of the annual returns and convert these to a number that works for compounding over the period. Because we're working with individual calculations on a series of numbers, I think it's a neat solution to use the memory function in the calculator. So to enter the memory worksheet, we switch the calculator on and press second memory. Now we're in the memory worksheet you can store up to 10 numbers in here of course you can write these on a piece of paper if you would prefer but I find it quite simple to use the memory function so press second clear work to make sure that all the work is cleared from any previous calculations and now you want to enter the first number so 1 add 9% equals 1.09 enter that in the first memory storage part down arrow same again 1 add 14 percent equals 1.14 and enter that in the second storage down arrow 1 add 8 and press the plus minus because it's minus 8% percent equals 0 0.92 enter and then down arrow 1 add 3% equals and enter that and finally 1 add 11 equals and enter that so that gives us each one of the different pieces of data that we want all stored in the memory function so now for the next part of the geometric mean calculation we just need to multiply each one of these numbers together so to do that you press recall 0 to get the first one times recall 1 times recall 2 times recall 3 times recall 4 equals now all we need to take is the fifth root of this series of data all multiplied together um, and then minus 1. So to take the fifth root you press y to the x and enter the number 5 for the number of um, data items and then to convert it to the fifth root rather than 5 squared you press 1 over x equals and then minus 1 equals and that gives you the 0 0.055 or 5.5 percent which is the geometric mean of the series of data that we were looking at thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful have a wonderful day